Hey guys, you have now tuned in to Trucker Rudy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the Pedro and Clearwater, Minnesota that is. Yes, we are already in Minnesota. My son had to run in and uh, go use the bathroom because he was still sleeping this morning when I got up and went to use the bathroom. And so he is not with me right now. He's inside taking care of business and uh, I'm on my way going to go inside as well. And we are gonna go have her some breakfast. <coughs> That's a little bit chilly out here this morning. We had a little bit of uh, snow and rain shower there in Wisconsin earlier a little bit, but uh, hey, here we are starting our day. So let's get to it. Let's go inside. We'll show you when we had some breakfast done. All right, guys and gals, we are getting ready to have some breakfast. So let's take a look what we got. We got us some steak and eggs and hash browns and we took the uh, pancakes today. Never had pancakes before at a truck stop anywhere, so I figured, yeah, I'll give it a try. And you're having the same thing, aren't you? Yeah? So he's hungry, me too, so let's get to eating. Hey, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, you guys, we have now officially left the TA Petro there. Well, we can say, I guess, Petro, but TA is partnered with uh, Petro, so we can actually say TA Petro. That's right. And uh, we are now back on the interstate on I-94 westbound and down. That's right. What do you got to say there about the breakfast there, boy? It was very good. It was very good? Really? Yeah. All right. I could tell he was hungry. He wasted no time in getting in there and digging in. Before you knew it, he was already finished eating. Yeah, as I said earlier on that clip, I had never ever ordered pancakes before. And they were good. They were really good. I'm gonna have to order pancakes more often. Yep, that's right. We got about 400 more miles to go and then we'll be home. So it looks like uh, we should arrive in Steinbach probably around 4 o'clock, 4.30ish, somewhere around there. So that's fantastic. We'll be home early enough to have supper with the family. Go home and do all our paperwork and clean out the truck. We got tons of stuff in here that you can probably tell by the camera there looking at it. We got the barbecue grill right here behind us and all this stuff and all that. All the stuff we got there from the truck show and some stuff that we bought. But we got a ton of stuff that we got to clean out of the truck and probably vacuum inside here a little bit yet. Dust off a little few things here and there. And then we'll be good to go again, right? Yeah. <coughs> Although he got to go back to school tomorrow, right? Yeah. But apparently on Friday he doesn't have school, so... He'll have Friday off again too. <laughs> Only one day of school. Yeah, this week at least, yeah? Yeah. Next week I think it's a full week. So. Yep. But yeah, it is the last day that you're going to see my son riding along with us today. So enjoy it while you can, right? Yeah. Because after this, you probably won't see him for a little while. But he has definitely grown up quite a bit since uh, he rode along with me last time. I know a lot of you guys are probably uh, noticing that too. I know I've gotten a few comments on that. 
he's just as tall as I am now. And he's not even grown fully yet, I think. But anyways, uh, we had a little bit of traffic in uh, Minneapolis, but it wasn't too terribly bad, but little slowdowns here and there. But other than that, we sailed right on through there. And here we are. Just putting the hammer down, going home now, that's for sure. The last little stretch. Before you know it, we'll be home. Yep, like Brad James has a song there. Every mile behind me is a mile closer to you. That's a good song. I like his music. Yeah. We've been listening to his CD that we bought at the show there quite a few times already. Got some awesome music on that disc. Yep. But anyway, let's continue cruising along here and uh, we will show you what we can. Or what we think that we, if we have something to say or we see something interesting, then we'll turn on the camera, right? Yep. You got any final words to say right now? No. Alright. We have come up onto an interesting site. It looks like we got a police escort or a state trooper escort up here. Got an oversized uh, trailer over here, I guess. <clears throat> I don't get it why they got a, a police escort, two other uh, <clears throat> oversized vehicle escorts and all that just for an empty trailer. Like, that's crazy. But, that's the way it is. I guess you gotta follow the rules of the state. If they say that's what you got to have, then that's what you got to have, I suppose. Just to uh, haul an oversized trailer like this. I mean, yeah, it is a fairly big trailer, or whatever you want to call it, but uh, that's crazy. Now we got another straight trooper ahead of us up there. And it looks like there's another oversized vehicle ahead of him yet. Man, that's just crazy. <laughs> I can't believe it how many vehicles they use up here just for this one little oversized But Hey, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. I guess we'll just let them be. We passed the oversized truck now, but we still have these uh, oversized vehicles here. So we're going to have to stay in the left lane here for a bit longer. But if you haven't noticed, it just started sort of slash rain slash snow again. Yeah. A little bit of snow and a little bit of ice and a little bit of water. Rain. That's right. But anyways, we'll get past these vehicles here and then we'll be in the clear, I guess, for a little while. That must cost them a lot of money, though, to have these state trooper escorts and all of that up here just to haul that trailer but I guess they gotta do what they gotta do so we'll see you guys all a little bit later we've been giving her for a good while right yeah we are already on I-29 in North Dakota we got about an hour and 45 minutes to the border I would say so we got about 1.30 in the afternoon right now. That means probably about quarter after three or so we should be at the at the border. Or about that time anyways. We might stop up here in the rest area yet. Maybe just go to the washroom or something. But other than that, we're just gonna cruise right along Tron through and uh, hopefully we can get home there. Uh, say probably about 4 30 we should be home i think that should be about the time at least we'll be in the yard around 4 30 and then drop our trailer drop our paperwork and all that and then uh we should be home early enough yeah that'd be awesome that'd be very awesome what do you got to say today i don't know weather all day and it's been mostly all day so far half snowing half raining and yeah i'm really excited to see mom and jessica so yeah 
start missing them after after a couple of days being on the road you know you start realizing how much they mean to you your family you know um, how important every everyone is to you I'm sure it's to the drivers out there it goes out to all of the drivers out there you know that uh, when you're back when you're at the, on the road you start realizing how much the family means to you yeah you start realizing how important they are at least to me maybe somebody else might have uh, different ideas or maybe they don't care about their uh, their family at home you know but uh, I do I miss my family a lot all the time I enjoy spending the time with my family when I can so that's gonna mean this weekend or at least now when we get home we're gonna take two days off to enjoy getting back together with the wife and my daughter We'll have a uh, good time. We'll probably put the grill together maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow night we might be cooking some barbecue at home. Who knows? It's a very good possibility. The wife has been saying all week long, she says, uh, you've been cooking so many barbecues up there at the truck show. She said, you made me jealous. She says, when you come home, you gotta cook me a barbecue too. I said, all right, no problem. That's the deal. Got the new grill, so uh, we'll have us a nice barbecue at home when we get home. I don't know if it's going to be Thursday or, or if it's going to be Friday, but one of those days we'll have us a nice barbecue. What do you say? You think that's a good possibility? Oh yeah. Yeah? I think so too. I think uh, we've done it twice now already. So we kind of have figured out a little bit on how um, much charcoal and all that we need for the barbecue grill there. And so I think we'll be uh, cooking us a good barbecue. I think so. But anyways, let's get on down the road and let's see. What else did we do today? We had our breakfast and had a very nice breakfast actually. Yeah. Nice steak and eggs and hash browns. Yeah. yeah. I had toast. That's right. That was a very nice, nice breakfast. And uh, other than that, it's been cloudy all day and pretty windy. It feels like out here now. I see that on my fuel mileage been dropping pretty good. Yeah, I was getting pretty good fuel mileage yesterday after we fueled up, but then now it's not so good anymore. <laughs> But what can you expect on a flat land right this here on I-29? I mean, it's probably even boring for you guys to watch me out of the window, you know? Not much to see, but... Starting to feel like Manitoba again. Yeah, we are getting closer to Manitoba, that's for sure. Everything's flat and no farmland. Yeah, yeah, up here in North Dakota, they got a lot of farmlands up here, Dave. See that they plant a lot of potatoes up here. That's right, but it's not the biggest state with potatoes. I heard that's uh, I think it's Idaho that's got uh, that's the potato state. They plant the most potatoes. That's what I've heard. What a pay, what for time. You might quote me differently. I don't know everything, right? But I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. Yeah, that's miles. Winnipeg, 145 miles. So you gotta do that times 1.6. And kilometers. And then you know how many kilometers it is up to home or Winnipeg. But I think it's a little bit less than that up to uh, Steinbach, but not much. Only a little bit. But yeah, should be coming up here by Grand Forks here in about, uh, well, I guess about seven or eight miles we'll be in Grand Forks. I don't think we'll be stopping there though, unless uh, one of us decides we need to use the restroom, then I guess we will have to, but other than that, I think we might just continue up to the last rest area up there before the border. Might just do a pit stop over there and continue on. I don't really feel like making another pit stop, but we might just do it anyways. We already had our 
Well, we had one hour off there when we had breakfast, and we had already driven three and a half hours by the time we got down there, so uh, we don't have to have another half an hour break anyway, so we, we're good to go in that department. Yeah, 153 miles till we get home. I don't know if that's correct, though, because... Uh, might be, but uh, I know sometimes the Rand McNally wants me to go the all the way to Winnipeg and then go home like that, and sometimes it don't, so I haven't looked at it to see if it's correct or not. But whatever it is, we'll get home whenever it is, right? We are now in Manitoba. We forgot to put this down. Alright, well, why don't you put that down so that way they can see you. There you go. So it's not as much annoying to you guys. Yes, and we are now officially back in my hometown. Back or my home province, I guess you could say. Province, yeah. Yeah, I'm not in my hometown yet, but we'll be soon enough, right? Yeah. That's what I figured. We're heading straight for home. That's right. Oh, yeah. It was an easy border crossing today, so uh, yeah, not too bad, a little bit of a lineup, but it wasn't actually too bad today. Quite a few of the other guys had to go into the back or go into the yard there, but uh, we got the clear to go, but we still went into the uh, yard there. It's not like it's an impound yard there, so we could just pull in and can pull out no problem. And the reason I did that as soon as I crossed the border, I have Rogers uh, wireless internet here. So I turned on my Wi-Fi system here and I turned on my computer and went and clicked on all the videos that I have rendered already. So they can start uploading right now to uh, YouTube. So that way they are all there for you. Hopefully they will be done by later on tonight. There's actually quite a few gigabytes worth of data that I have to use to upload these videos that I got coming up here, but hey, it's worth it. It's worth it. Definitely. Yes, sir, Bob. Are you excited to go home? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think both of us are very excited to go home. Yes, sir, Bob. And we have made an appointment with my mechanic. He finally got back to me and... Uh, yeah, so he said, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. So hopefully we can get our AC fixed. That would be very nice if I could get that done. Oh yeah, I would love that. Because I'm not happy with this AC not working. So he was supposed to order the part that we think that's broken. That's not letting the AC work. So we'll replace that and hopefully then it will work. Hopefully it will work this time. And if not, they got two days to work on it. Hopefully they can figure out what's wrong with it. I really hope they can fix it. Because it's starting to get hotter, you know, like when you go further south. Or even not just that, you know, like if we were stopped somewhere in traffic or whatever. Because I don't have the AC, it doesn't control the uh, temperature in here as much. Because uh, as soon as I stop, it basically just blows out hot air from the engine, right? So it gets pretty pretty hot in here pretty quickly if we're stopped somewhere and we got the fan on and so as soon as we drive obviously it's cool enough outside of most of the areas that we're driving in right now that it's not a problem but uh, in Kentucky there last week it would have been nice to have the AC already it wasn't to the point where we were starting to sweat in there but it was starting to, uh, starting to get to the point where it was starting to get a little warm where it would have been nice to have the AC, but we made it. I mean, as soon as I stop, I can turn on the uh, uh, APU unit and we can have that AC running, but that one works, I know that for sure. Yeah. We even uh, had it running there, I think, on the first day, like when, uh, when I was saying that was kind of warm over there. We got there like uh, one or two in the afternoon or whatever, so we turned that on, we stayed comfortable in the truck, but uh, yeah. We are now on the final stretch home. We only got one more hour to go and we'll be home. So that's right around 4.30 we'll be pulling into the yard. And then we'll drop this baby and uh, drop our paperwork off and uh, we'll hightail home. 
I think I'm just going to do my paperwork tomorrow morning or later tonight when I'm at home. So that way we can go home right away and give the wife a big hug and a kiss and give Jessica a big hug. A kiss. Yeah, probably we'll give her a kiss on the cheek. Yeah, she's probably going to be very excited to see us. Yes. Just as excited as we are, right? Yeah, she'll probably be like half asleep in her wheelchair and then when we come home and she hears our voices, she'll be wide awake. Yeah, and then she'll start making her noises and let us know that she's happy. And, oh yeah. Kicking her feet. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. But yeah. Looks like my wife was having a problem with the battery the other day and uh, we got it fixed yesterday. Uh, they tested the battery and uh, they said the battery was shot. They replaced it and this morning my wife was able to start the car no problem. So obviously it was the battery. I guess they don't last forever. But that's just like with everything, right? I mean, nothing lasts forever. So yeah. So let's make our way down home and uh, we'll probably uh, close the show uh, when we get home or unless we see something interesting from here till we get home or something like that or if we all of a sudden come up with something else we would like to talk about then I guess we'll turn the camera back on but if not then we'll uh, probably be at home by the time we finish this video. Hey ladies and gentlemen we have made it home yes sir Bob actually a matter of fact it's the next morning. And what do we got outside there? Some white stuff? Uh, snow, yeah. Some white stuff, yeah. We might show you here in a little bit, but it is time for this guy over here to what? Say bye. Hey, say bye to you guys. Yeah. He's no longer going to be riding along with me. Oh. At least for now, anyways. Yeah. Until next time, right? Yeah. Maybe next time when you have spring break? Well, maybe over the summer. Or over the summer when you have school break. That's what I meant to yeah. say. Yeah. So we're going to close off the show here today. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the ride along with him as well. Yeah, I bet it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had an awesome time together. And let's go show you guys a little bit on what we're looking at outside. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, we got some wind over there and some white stuff starting to appear. Now that's not a good sign. We didn't want to have that, but uh, yeah, that's the way it is sometimes. But uh, hey, we'll catch you again tomorrow right here on Trucker Rudy. So have a good one and be sure to rate this video up with a big fat thumbs up and share it. And if you're new to, tar new to our channel, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button right there in that corner over there. So thanks for watching everybody, and we'll catch you next day, right here on Trucker Rudy. It's time to get going, it's time to move on, put this behind me. That day is gonna come